Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about today's load. It's an insulation load. I've actually been waiting to get one of these so I can go through an insulation load with everybody on how I do it. Obviously, there's everybody does it differently. Um, many may be familiar with the shipper location that I'm at. TMC actually has a dedicated out of here. So I've actually been here quite a few times when I was running for TMC. Nonetheless, insulation, 7,000 pounds, very light load. Um, and there's a certain way that I do it that is just like the same way that many others do it. Some people might throw their straps differently. Some people might secure it with less straps, more straps. Who knows, but I'm going to take you do it the way that I do it. Um, one thing you will notice that I'll do differently with this insulation load that I don't do usually is I will be twisting my straps uh, to deflect the wind um, because it's a tall load. Anything um, eight feet or more, and especially a load like this that we can't strap down very tight because it'll damage the insulation. So we can only strap it down just tight enough to hold it in place. I don't want the wind flapping my strap. So I will be twisting my straps on the load. You will notice that. And um, we'll be throwing cross straps. We will be throwing cross straps in the front and the back. I'll be throwing mine in the front because I have a lot of room between where the front of that load is. That first bundle will be between that and where my sleeper is. So if it was for whatever reason to come forward, it has plenty of room to f fall out and fall off the bed and cause an accident or something. Um, if it was, let's say, uh, you know, like a TMC truck and it's a four and they have 48 foot trailers where the front bundle is right basically almost all the way right up to their headache rack in that case i probably wouldn't throw cross straps on the first bundle just because the bundle is gonna if it falls it's really just gonna get caught on the sleeper and in my case with a 53 and where my trailer sits on my fifth wheel um i have plenty of room for it to fall out and fall off the bed so you will be seeing me throw cross straps in the front we'll be throwing cross straps in the back and you will see me twist my straps i have my own pole they do have a pole people have asked do when you go to these places do they supply you with a pole to put your edge protectors up Yes, they do. Uh, I have my own pole and I have my own connection. Uh, just rather it that way because I have shown up to places where they don't have poles. In my experience, I like to be prepared and I like to have my own tools. It just is what it is. So uh, I'm just waiting for him to finish loading. When he finishes, we'll get to it. All right, just what we're looking at. Now I can tell you right now, I'm gonna be putting two straps over each bundle because of the length of the bundle. Sometimes they have them short bundles. When they have them short bundles, they're like four feet, they're like half the width of this, then I would use one strap. But uh, I'll be using two straps over each bundle and we're gonna get it done and I'll show you. As you can see, I got my straps out and stuff already. I'm all ready to go. My edge protectors, my pole. I'm just waiting to see if he's finished. I think that's it. I don't think I get any more. But I'm going to start throwing them anyway.
jumped out of there and I didn't even walk through it. So let's, let's talk about it as usual. I got my back cross straps, got my edge protectors up there. Um, I did two, two, two straps on every bundle. Two straps on every bundle. The cross strap is considered the third strap on the first bundle. I got my cross straps in the front. Everything done neat. My edge protectors up there. Uh, what I would like to say is that I throw my cross straps first. And I just do that from experience because after I throw my cross straps, this strap helps keep the cross strap in place and it never falls off while you're going down the road, even if it gets loose. So it keeps it in place. That is cinching down that cross strap and keeping it tight. So even, see that? Even if that loosens up, it's not, it's not getting loose in the back because it's cinched down up there. So I always throw my cross strap first and I always make it so that there's a union between the cross strap and that strap going over, over the edge protector, and it works out beautifully. Now, sometimes these panels, they come like, I think it's four feet or three feet, whatever. It's like half of this. If those, if it was that way, it would have been one strap over each, each panel. But, um, I've had an experience uh, going down the road with this insulation, thinking, oh, because it's 7,000 pounds, I could throw one strap over without twisting the strap on all the center bundles and just two on the front. And, and it was a bad experience. I'll show you some pictures of it. Also, you guys know that I don't twist my straps usually, but because this is a high load and because I can't winch the straps down as tight as I, I can, I know the wind is gonna play a factor, so I put a twist in the straps when I carry insulation all the time. That's just me. Same thing with the front. Cross straps go on first. These straps lock down the cross straps. So even if this gets loose, look at look, that's not tight, it's that's not crazy tight but it's tight there because that's keeping that in place. Now, if I threw that over that strap, that can get loose going down the road. This falls off the corner, gets caught in your wheels. Like, it's all from experience, man. And, it, and it's from listening to others and seeing others do what they do. But uh, that's the load of 7,000 pounds, so I, we don't have to add up the work and load limits on the securement that's obviously there but I, I forgot to walk through it when I left out of there because of the rain so I figured I'd go through it real quick and tell you why I do certain things and how I do it so that's my insulation load I know what it is be cool stay fresh put God first Always, choice man's.